with Sarah and I've had a crafty week I just haven't posted any videos so uh, I just wanted to share with you guys what I've been up to um, some new stuff and some old stuff so uh, first of all I did another page in this little journal and it's right here and this is totally based off of um, a piece that Kat Hand did. She did it on a, um, what are those? It's like a, a card, an index card. And she just punched out circles of other um, jelly plate prints and made them into flowers. And I actually um, patched this page. Can you see? I don't even know if you can see it now. I used the same paper, but I patched because I wrote... Um, don't forget to smell the flowers or something like that and I just hated my writing and I had to cover it up so I put other flowers on top of it um, because I really want to start to add writing to my journal pages but I'm so insecure about it not being perfect for years because I'm a decorative artist a decorative painter um, I've never struggled with uh, creating it myself and what am I getting at the fact that I have someone else's work to to paint by was was easy for me so having my own to make decisions and decide what I want to add to my pages it's a little bit harder so I'm trying to develop a style and as you know I've, I've talked a little bit about that with my my new art journal I got I'm kind of now deciding what my style is. I mean, after all this time, um, you know, I'm still going to try new things, obviously. I mean, that's what I do. I love to try new things. It's just fun. But like, so this page, for instance, this is kind of my style. It's whimsical. It's bright and colorful. And I think that's what I'm going to stick with. That's what I want to build on now. Um, so that being said, that doesn't mean I want, I don't want to try new things. And that's what I've done this week is I've taken a class and I'm going to talk about that in a minute. I just wanted to share this. So remember, I'm going to talk about the class I, I'm, I took in a sec. I did this little, it was, um, it's just basically an accordion art journal. Remember I did these out of, um, watercolor paper. So I had done this one with, um, I jelly printed it and stuff, but I collaged it. I said, I think I was gonna use the other one. I was gonna use this for my collage, but I just love these prints so much. I might make copies of these. I still might just scan them and make copies so that I can use them in other work because it seems like that's what a lot of people are doing. If you really like a print a lot, you can just scan it into your printer and use it for something else. So I'm, I didn't want to do it on that yet, but I did do it on this. And these are printables that I've, so all I did, basically I have this little folder that, um, it's one of those ones that you get at Target. It's in the dollar spot. I think it was like $5. Oh, that was my battery. And speaking of that, I got, I'm getting a new camera. I'm so excited. I got a, uh, a camcorder, right? So I'm gonna, I'll do an unboxing and everything, and I'll talk about that when I get it. Um, oh look, my glitter's coming off. Um, but this is one of those file uh, folders from uh, Target. So it's a dollar, and I just loaded this up with all my printables that I've ordered over time. So I have. I'm trying to get this in the shop, but it has. It's like a little filing system, which is awesome. See, it's all labeled and everything, and I just have random different a lot of bottle cap things and my art doll my art doll images and stuff like that so that all I did was grab this and kind of pulled from that whatever I thought I might want to do on this so this is what I came up with this is like the cover um, these little kids are from shoot I should have pulled that I'll tell you the the name of um, that artist that supplied that to me uh, here it is. Hidden Vintage Studio. Hidden Vintage Studio at, oh, DeviantScrap.com.
Okay, let's focus in. DeviantScrap.com. Uh, anyhow, all right, so that's what I used. And then I have some, the next page is going to be just like random stuff that I pulled out of here. Uh, Ephemeris Vintage Garden, like this I used on the next page. I cut it apart. Um, different clock pieces is the next page. But anyway, um, and that's what I did for that. I don't have a lot of collage materials at the moment. Like, I don't have any magazines that I've saved. I'm not like a huge saver of things. Like, I don't save everything. Um, I like to purge from time to time, but... I like how this turned out. So there's a little bird that I cut from a piece and just collaged a bunch of different stuff. I cut this flower in half and like put half there and half there to kind of pull it together. I think it looks cute. And then the next page is what I was talking about. So this is all like time stuff. I really like this and this is um, Frozen in Time. That's from Ephemera's Vintage Garden. Um, this is one of my doll faces from my um, art dolls and it just had clock eyes. So I just put that there and um, this one actually is from Decoupage. Decoupage puts out these little books of all little pieces, oh, excuse me, that you can use for, um, decoupaging. And here's that, uh, ATC background. So I think this little section is pattern paper. I think it could be v Ephemera's Vintage Garden, but I think it's from pattern paper. And I just cut that. So it's like a, just a bunch of clock stuff. I think it turned out cool. And that's it. That's all I did. So I did that. So I was playing with a bunch of different stuff. And then I was on Facebook and I subscribed or, well, you know, liked. Um, her name is Debbie Cole. And Debbie Cole is a, is a decorative artist. She has um, pattern packets and stuff. She's in the decorative painting world. And now she's getting into mixed media. So she posted a picture of a piece by Kate Crane, and she's um, a UK artist. Anyway, um, I subscribed to the Deco Art newsletter. Bye, Matt. Bye, Matt. All right, see you later. Um, so I, 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 you know, a few clicks later. Anyway, I had bought a class by Kate Crane, um, and it's the Catherine Wheel. She has a YouTube page, but it really just shows snippets of her classes, so I'll, I'll put that in the description box. Um, I would recommend her, her class. Her style is really cool. Um, she's lovely to listen to as well. Um, good teacher, you know, so she explains it um, pretty well. So this is what, this was actually the second page. The class that I took is called Journal Soup. And it's Journal Soup 1. I think she has Journal Soup 2. I'm probably going to end up taking all of them because I just really love... There's so much information, and she's a real artist, you know? I don't know. I think there's a lot for free on YouTube, too, that you can take. Um, anywho, this is her design. Um, she did a little collage over here, and then the rest, it's kind of wet-on-wet -wet painting. So that was something else I was very interested to learn. You know, my art journal, I've talked about that. I am falling back to my style, the sheer floats and washes. Um, and I will include that in my style as well. But I wanted to play and see what hers was all about. These stamps, these leaves, I carved myself. So Kate introduced me to that carving stamps and I'll show you what I have here. Um, I just went and got the Speedball Lino Cutter Assortment. So it comes like this. This little tool here, it has like five different bits. And I just played around. There was actually, no wait, I saw a really great tutorial for if anyone who wants to try it. Journal Artista did a rubber stamp carving for beginners. Uh, video and so here's what I carved. This is um, I bought the speedy carve. That's the pink one. There's a bit softer stuff that you can carve um, and look at all these stamps I made just with that much. I have this much left. So here's my leaf. I made a big leaf and a little leaf because I want it had to be like Kate. 
Um, she has a stamp like this too. This one is in this piece here. Although I painted over it too. Um, so this is kind of messy. It's not perfect and I did it on a mat board, but it was fun. It took so quick to make this. Um, and then this one's just again with my, um, the foam. The, the fun foam, the craft foam, I made this one because she had a stamp like that. And you can kind of see it in the background, it's blue. Hers was white. I should have stamped it in white. Anywho, so that was one of the pages. Um, I'll show you. I can show you what these look like just real quick. Uh, I took notes. I take notes. So it's, you. Go, her classes are available. You go to her Etsy store, and then you purchase the class, and then it's on Vimeo, which I don't know if you know what Vimeo is. I didn't know, but I guess it's like a place where you can upload videos that people buy. But here's, I just took notes on the class, and here's some of the stamps. So look, this is um, the swirly one before I used the thicker um, bit. This the, I used the thicker bit and I because I wanted more white area, so that's the same that's it first and then I did it that way and then this is like before I did that like this was the before and that's the after so it was fun it was really and it's super easy and like I said um, the journal artista I'm gonna link that in the um, description box because her video is so it, it explains everything all you need to know um, so there's that here's the other um, piece I did from her class. This was, I think, the third page. I didn't do the first page she taught because it was with sprays and I, I ordered some sprays <coughs> and I can't wait to play. That was like one of my favorite. I think I'll use sprays a lot more and I never knew I would. Um, but I am going to try the sprays again. And she uses like the Diane Reevely techniques. Um, with the, uh, everyone is really into her paints now too for mixed media, but this is the page. Um, and she actually draws, um, these little angels and mine are a little wonky because I didn't stamp my halos down for it far enough. I don't like how they're up high. Um, and then we journaled on top of the angels, which was really cool. And I want to add journaling to my art journal pages more, but like I said, I went over I totally went over the, these words because I just, I hated them so much. So I need to work on just letting it be what it is. It is what it is. But I think it turned out cool. It's not exactly like hers because I did add, I tried to do the wet on wet technique for the faces and get more like brush strokes and all that stuff. But I ended up going, by. I, I could do it so different. Like I'm used to painting smooth, not like textural, you know? Um, but I like it. It turned out cool. Um, so that was that. I have to go away and come back. So I think the other thing I wanted to share was just that I got, and I posted this on my Facebook page, I got this little um, jelly plate. And I had seen this on Facebook, as a matter of fact. Someone else posted it. Just a picture of it at AC Moore. I got this at AC Moore. It's $19.99, but of course I used a coupon. Um, and it's five by five, but it's not real thick. It's only about like maybe a quarter inch thick. And I'm gonna play with that today. I have another one of those little um, art journals that I made out of um, watercolor paper. So I'm gonna jelly print on that and try and do some more of these wet on wet techniques. Um, I think this little journal is gonna be um, the one that I use for these clap. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. The classes that I take, the other classes that I'm going to take with Kate. Um, because like I said, I am pro... What is the word? I'm very good at my style of painting. I know how to do that. I want to push push myself a little bit and try venture into something that's out of my box. Do you know what I'm saying? So... Um, this is different for me, and I want to learn this so that it becomes, what is the word? I can't think of the word. Pro, proficient? Yeah. I want to be proficient in this style as well, because I still have to think a lot when I'm doing this style, um, where when I do my style, I'm, I don't even have to think. I just do it, and it's like easy for me. So 
um, that's what I'm going to try and do in this little art journal. So I've kind of reorged my craft room. I'm just going to do a quick peek over here. This is, this is all my art journals and some of my notebooks are right here. My gel pens, my watercolor pencils. These are just um, markers. These are like different markers. Um, I move things around. Here's all my uh, stickles. I just wanted to move things. I have, this is just a little tin filled with different things that I can use for collage. I'm starting to collect now because I never did that before, but it's handy to just have it on hand so when you see something you like just clip it out then so you don't have to think about it and you can just rummage through and find some stuff I mean this these little pieces were really easy to find oh sorry this little pink polka dot paper was actually a printable I want to say it's um, ephemeris vintage garden and um, Kate actually stitches I just bought black thread too because she stitches a lot on her mixed media which I have a great sewing machine. I want to do that, but I just ended up stapling this because um, I didn't have the black thread in there. It didn't I could have probably done it with white. Um, anyway, uh, I got this little um, paint spinner, I just call it, and it's okay. You can kind of see in the background, there's my big one back there. Um, that is better. This one, some of the holes aren't big enough. Like they're like you really have to work the see, this is perfect. But some of them, like this one, it's kind of tight. Like it's not made per perfect, but this was like $14 and I used a coupon. Of course I use a coupon. But I can keep this on my desk. So I have my metallics on one side. And so yeah, that's mostly, that's pretty much all metallics. And then this is just like my go-to palette at the moment. Black, white, and then just brights. Pretty much. But I do have some burnt umber. Um, anywho, uh... So I have that on my desk now. I never had paint on my desk before, but now I wanna, um, I wanted to have that. So here's another thing I did. Behind me I have, this is a lot of my go-to stuff back here. Um, this is all collage now. This is all my stencils, um, random papers that I can collage with, paper palette, and my Tim Holtz paper, my um, deli paper, my uh, book pages. So this is just like, for mixed media, this is kind of like my paper stash for mixed media. Um, these are still random stuff, but this is like uh, my Twinkling Age 2Os and stuff like that, my fancy paints. But this is what I did. I, I straightened this out. So down here, let's see if, yeah, you can see this. Here's my gel medium and my gesso. Um, and my other mediums, like my modeling paste and stuff like that. Um, that's my carved stamp. So I just emptied this, like this is empty, because I want it to be, I'm going to put here what I use all the time, but this is what I was going to say. This is, I've had this rolling cart here, and this holds my go-to stuff, because this desk didn't have drawers in it. Um, but it had this is where I keep all my inks. There's all my Tim Holtz inks and stuff. But I added this one, and I've had these in my um, what is that called? My my cubes. But now I have tags. Oh, I'm gonna I want to pull these out right now while I'm thinking of it. I want to do tags today with my jelly plate. I just put my Yupo paper in here. Different. Um, there's photo paper and stuff in there. So stuff I'm gonna use for my jelly plate. These are my distress markers. And these are my paint pens. And the, there's some fabric Castell in here, but these are my paint pens. So I wanted my mixed media stuff within reach. I wanted to be, because it used to be all over there. Those cubes over there used to be all my mixed media. And there's still some stuff. So basically what I did is I did a de-stash, only I didn't de-stash it. I just put it in a cart, like in a box, and put it back in the basement. Because all that was just so cluttered, there was so much stuff, it was just way too much. So there's a lot of empty space now, not everything over there is filled up. Um, but I emptied a lot of it. And when I have my craft show in November, I think I'm going to like get rid of a lot of stuff that's just sitting around. Um, cause I was, I'm 
been feeling a little overwhelmed. Um, and you guys know I try so many things that I just have a lot of supplies. Um, anywho, that's what I've been doing. So I haven't posted videos this week, but I have been busy, busy, busy. <coughs> and the weather's been so nice still. I just wanted to get these last bits of summer out of the way and then I will be back in the craft room. So, um, <clears throat> also the, there is, <coughs> I didn't participate in the hashtag this month, but next month it's going to be October is breast cancer awareness and I'm pretty much thinking I'm going to do some polymer clay. Um, I want to recreate this in some form or fashion uh, for a breast cancer awareness project for next month's hashtag. Um, so that'll be coming up. But for the most part, I'm just going to keep playing with my mixed media, my jelly plate, um, and trying to come up with projects in that fashion because I want to develop my own style. I want to try and see if I can broaden my um, creativity, like get out of my box a little bit and um, be my own artist. You know, you guys know I'm a copycat, and I'll admit that every time. I get so inspired by um, others' work, and I think decorative painting kind of was the perfect thing for me because of that. Um, so we'll see what happens. Um, you know, I hope, I hope to be, you know, continuing on that path anyway. So, all right, you guys, I'm going to put the cat crane in my description box and um that's it thanks for watching